Last Friday, detectives from our Economic Crimes Unit arrested 46-year-old Jamie Fonville for three counts of scheme to defraud. Detectives were made aware of possible fraudulent activity in February from an account overseen by First Choice Association Management where Fonville was employed as the accounting manager. Detectives say Fonville manufactured fraudulent checks using the account information from different homeowner associations and deposited these checks into her own personal bank account. Detectives believe there are additional unreported victims. If you have any information regarding this case, please contact Corporal Kyle Cruz with the Economic Crimes Unit at 727-582-5711. This weekend, deputies will be conducting a DUI wolf pack with other local law enforcement agencies throughout Pinellas County. The operation will begin Saturday evening and continue until Sunday morning. Deputies along with FWC will also be patrolling the waterways looking for impaired boat operators. The detail will begin on Saturday at 10 a.m. and continue through midnight. Remember, if you feel impaired, utilize a friend or a ride-sharing service. This week, cold case detectives followed up on a tip from a 1983 cold case involving the disappearance of Retha Hares. Detectives conducted an excavation of a property located at 1201 Gooden Crossing with the assistance of the Forensic Science Division. Our cold case units work diligently throughout the year in hopes to solve cases and bring closures to families. The excavation will continue today as the investigation is still ongoing. Wear your red, white, and blue and join PCSO for all of the 4th of July festivities. From parades to city block parties, we'll be celebrating with you all throughout the weekend. The celebration starts tonight at First Friday Seminole at Seminole City Center at 6 p.m. To see where we'll be this weekend, visit pcsoweb.com forward slash events. Our deputies may be the boots on the ground, but there are a lot of folks behind the scenes that make it all happen. This week's Job of the Week is a great example. Records data technicians communicate with deputies to input information into records data systems, assist in report writing, and research information to support investigations. Learn more about this opportunity and others at pcsoweb.com careers. On Tuesday, we hosted campers from Lighthouse of Pinellas for a multi-sensory tour of our administration building. The Lighthouse of Pinellas' mission is to advance the independence and quality of life for individuals in Pinellas County that are blind or visually impaired. You can learn more at lhpfl.org. Yesterday, we recognized 18 members who successfully completed Spanish Level 1 for law enforcement and four members who completed Level 2 of the program. This voluntary program provides members the tools they need to better serve our Spanish-speaking community.